Right, hello viewers. Um, so um, I'm off on holiday soon for a couple of weeks. So uh, off to Florida. Um, should be nice. Never been there. Um, but before I go, I thought I would just come up with another little bowl, um, bit of a sort of a crazy one, and um, I can get that up before I before I jet off really. Um, so. Um, I'm going to use these, um, I bought these acrylic uh, rods from um, eBay, um, sort of see-through rods, so you've got the yellow ones there, blue, green, and I've got some red and orange ones as well. And I'm going to try and incorporate these inside the bowl somehow. I'm not really too sure how yet. Um, I've got an idea, but I'm just not really too sure how that's going to work, but um, it might not work. But um, I'm just going to give it a bash and see if I can make some kind of funky little bowl. Um, basically, I've, um, I've picked my piece now, of wood, um, my bowl blank. What I would suggest to do, um, again, for you new turners, is basically with any bowl blank, you know, you get this um, piece with your, your chuck. Uh, it comes, kind, of, kind of comes with your chuck or your lathe. Um, you want to sort of screw that in the centre as much as you can. Um, and then that bolts on to your chuck um, and then you're, you're away you go. Um, now obviously you want to put this kind of on the top. So this is going to be the top of my bowl and I've got a bit of a live edge here and I want to try and keep a bit of that um, I think. So we're going to keep a bit of that. So it's going to be a little bit funky there with a bit of a live edge there and a little bit of a live edge here. I don't know how much of that we'll end up seeing or not, I don't know. Um, so I'm putting this on the top. So I'm going to bolt this uh, onto the lathe. This Okay, so we've rubbed this down uh, a bit now, so just finishing off the, the back uh, of the bowl, the bottom of the bowl. I'm going to use this Yorkshire Grit, um, which basically I've seen some few people using. Uh, Jimerson uh, has used this and said it's uh, highly recommended, so I'm going to give this a bash uh, and see how that comes up. Um, so I think you've got to put quite a bit on, of this Yorkshire Grit on. Um, so this is actually quite a nice, um, it's quite a nice bowl actually. This. It'd almost be a shame actually to uh, deface it, which I'm going to do in a minute, <laughs> uh, with my acrylic rods. Um, almost wish to just leave it like this, but um, still, I don't know. Still, don't really know how this is going to come out or. Or what I'm going to do, but um, so we're going to rub this in whilst the lathe is switched off. Uh, we we'll get this all in the uh, in the grooves if there's any, or just rub it right in, get it in there everywhere. There we go. So um, once it's all rubbed in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to use the same piece of rag for the moment, and just uh, I'm just going to work it more inside with uh, the same piece of rag.
So every now and again what you should probably do is just check to make sure that everything's tight it's not going to fly off anywhere. I don't know if you saw my last video with the bowl jumping out at me. So um, that was uh, pretty bad. Didn't hit anything or injure anyone so that was good. So once I'm happy with that I'll change, get a new piece of rag, a paper towel is what I'm using. Others may use something different but uh, I'm using some paper towels and then I'll uh, just work this in a bit more with the clean piece of rag. So I'm already geared up there for my uh, emblem to go in. I've got a couple of different sizes actually, I've got this very small one and I've got a larger one, so this is the larger one that I'm going to put in here. Um, and this has got a little bit of a film on it, so it doesn't ruin the, the brass. So I'm going to use the larger one on this because it's a fairly large bowl. So I'm going to change rag again, just go with another clean piece of rag. So this would give you an idea of what it's sort of like going to come up with. So it's not bad actually. Um, quite pleased with uh, with that. So what I'll do now is I'm going to put this Yorkshire grit away, and I'm going to um, I'm going to use a bit of this shallow wax, uh, basically wood turner's friction. So I'm going to give this a bit of a bash because this is quite cool stuff. So let's see. Um, I'll do is I'll give this a little bit of a light rub down. Nothing too major, but just a little bit. And then we get some of this on. Again, a fairly generous sort of portion of this. This is uh, quite good stuff actually. I got this from the same place, uh, the toolbox, I believe it was called. I think I put a link up last time, but I'll put a link up again for those of you that want to get some of this stuff. But it, this is really, really good stuff. See in a minute as I keep going in with it. You can already see a bit of a shine taking place. I'm just sort of like rubbing this in quite nicely, just moving it up and down. Same with this. There we go sort of just gives you an idea of what it will do so it's really really cool stuff um, also we've got a couple of holes here but they kind of make the bowl um, so we'll keep those there um, but yeah this is really good I really like this stuff so okay so um, I've taken the bowl off the chuck now uh, as you can see I put a couple of lines uh, in here as well just to sort of finish it off like I did on my last bowl um, just gives it a little bit more of a, a nicer effect. So I'm just going to put a bit of super glue now. This is the high velocity. All right, so just put a bit in there, and then we just drop. We just drop this in like that. Just hold that down a little bit. Make sure that's uh, secure, and then we can take off the uh, the little cellophane 
afterwards really once we're happy that we're finished with it so it's quite nice though it's going to be almost of a shame now to do what I'm just about to do with it <laughs> I'm not even too sure if I really want to do that now <laughs> um, we'll see right do you know what <clears throat> I'm not going to ruin this bowl <laughs> with those acrylic rods now I've changed my mind um, I can use that on a different project I think but um, with a different uh, piece of wood or something like that but um, I really do like this this bowl how this is this come out um, so so far and um, I just I just think that it's, it will just look really tacky I'm just not sure if it's a good idea so I'm gonna hollow out the bowl and I've got another idea bear, bear with me Okay, so as I say, change my mind, and what I've done now is I've put a load of grooves in here, as you can see. So I think what I'm going to do now, uh, rub this down, put some sand and sealer on it, and then we're going to fill these grooves with uh, some mixed up resin um, and see if we can play around with some colours. I think that might uh, look quite cool on the inside, and then it doesn't disrupt the nice bowl on the outside. Um, we'll just keep it all uh, in, in the middle there, so I think that might work out quite well. So let's uh, do that now, put some uh, sand and sealer on here, and then we get this off and we'll start uh, mixing out some resin. Okay, so we've got the bowl off of the lathe, um, and this is how it looks so far. So, finish the bottom, I will tuck that up again when we've finished. Um, Got a bit of a live edge here, which is quite cool, and a small one here. So we're back to the colours again now. So what I've got here <laughs> is some uh, lots of different colours, colour dust that I'm going to mix up. So, uh, but I think this will look a little bit different, really, than the uh, acrylic rods. Um, I just thought that, that having them, I was going to have them kind of poking through here and stuff, and I just thought that it might look, might ruin this kind of. Oh really, I thought it was quite nice to keep that. So anyway, so I'm gonna put a different color in each of these um, slots that I've made. So it's gonna be a bit of a pain, so I need to mix them up, but I've got my uh, cups all ready. So I'm gonna start doing that now, and then we'll get ready to pour into here. So we go put all the powders uh, into here now. All the different powder mixes. I'm just gonna mix these up, and then we're gonna distribute them evenly in the bowl. So what I'm going to do here, as you can see, <coughs> is I'm going to mix up. I actually initially thought I'd just put like a one colour in each uh, line, but I'm going to mix these up um, and just see what it comes out like. <laughs> so I'm just going to um, play around with the colours, I'm going to put a few colours in here and then just mix up another colour around and see how that goes throughout the whole bowl. So I'll come back to you once I've done all that. I'm sure you don't want to watch me pour all this in here. Um, so um, it's going to be a little bit tedious, but uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, so uh, this is what it looks like at the moment. So I'm kind of sort of swirling it around. So I'm, I'm putting it in there and I'm sort of just moving it around so it sort of mixes in with all the rest of the stuff. It looks horrendous at the moment. <laughs> I'm hoping that this is going to uh, look all right. Okay, so um, just getting it all mixed around. The moment it doesn't really know what it's doing but I'm just sort of mixing it up um, into the various different holes I should go with uh, a bit of blue I think over here probably would have been better off with like, a little syringe or something Okay, so there we go, so I've mixed it all up, it's all over the place, it looks like a bit of a mess, but um, 
No, I think this might look quite quite funky actually. I want a bit like one of my paintings I've got in my uh, in my bedroom. Um, so uh, there we go. I need to let that set now and do its thing, uh, and then we'll get it back on the lathe. <coughs> right. So this is all dried up now. So we're going to um, just basically, as you can see, sort of all mixed in there. No idea how this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna look. Um, but uh, a little bit different than the first idea I had but um, so I'm just going to um, put the carbide on this now and just see um, see what it turns out to be Okay guys, um, i finished the, the bowl now, um, so I didn't use the acrylic rods as, uh, as I said at the beginning, um, I think it was just uh, the thought of destroying such a really nice piece of wood and sticking loads of holes in it everywhere, because that was the idea, I was going to put loads of holes in it everywhere and stick in these acrylic rods. Um, <clears throat> so I changed my mind and went down this route, um, I think it's come out alright, the, the bottom looks quite nice, obviously got some marks in here which are obviously just basically part of the wood which I think is quite nice. <clears throat> You've also got the live edge uh, here and here which I think look quite nice and then obviously you've got the, uh, <clears throat> the inside which I use the resin mixed up with lots of different dust uh, to sort of uh, formulate a sort of like a bit of a pattern inside um, which you know, I think it's turned out okay actually it's not a bad bowl not a bad looking bowl it doesn't sort of I don't think it ruins it too much I think it's probably more sort of arty fight than than uh, anything really um, with all the sort of different colors in there so I think you can um, just about sort of see some of it hasn't come out very well with the colours inside the middle here but some of these have come through quite well so I think overall it doesn't look too bad really so I'll stick some pictures up at the end but I uh, hope you like it as I say won't see another video for a couple of weeks now probably three weeks I expect because I'm going away but um, I'll sort of leave you with that I did finish this off with some Yorkshire Yorkshire grit which I'm finding quite good um, I'll put a link up for where I got that from and uh, yeah, I think I think it's sort of turned out okay, really. So uh, I do hope you like it. Please like and subscribe. Any comments, as always. Thanks again for all my new subscribers and all my old ones, obviously. Um, so when I come back, I'll come up with some other ideas of making some pots. I think um, let's have a look at some pots and bits and pieces there. Um, so we'll see. Um, again, thanks again. I'll speak soon.